Oh, I got distracted looking for a fucking pro controller. I was sitting in the car for about fucking three, four, maybe even five minutes just looking at controllers and which one I wanted to get. Um, but today we got, what's today? Oh, back, back. Big, big back, big back, big black, black motherfucking day for, uh, for your boy. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. I usually start, well, I guess I'm still starting with last technically, but I usually start with pull downs. Um, but today I'm going to start with pullovers, so I'm going to go pullovers, single arm cable rows, um, then we're going to go into pull ups, and then after that we're going to do our rear delts. So we're going to do uh, dumbbell reverse flies to start, and then we will do um, um, we're going to do underhand barbell row. And then we're gonna burn out with overhand. So I'll do three sets of uh, underhand barbells and we'll just burn out with overhand with lighter weight, most likely. And then we will finish with a lap pull down and a single arm lap pull down super set. Um, just to kind of like really fucking burn out the last at the end of the lift. I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't done a back day like this in a while. It's a, it's a lot of movements. I, they're probably not gonna be super high volume. I'll probably do just like two, maybe three sets of each, but it's gonna be pretty cool to um, actually get the uh get this much uh this much this many movements in to one day i already know my back's gonna be fucking cooked especially after those fucking rows uh doing underhand probably it's probably gonna be i'm probably not gonna go to a failure with the underhand um i'm probably gonna do three of 12 with the underhand but i am gonna burn out with the two overhand i'll probably do half the way with the, as i did with the underhand and just burn out with the overhand because that's like that's a lot of fucking rows but i mean i'm here for it man Trying to put myself in a goddamn. What am I trying to put myself in? Not, not the hospital. That's, that's not what I want. Trying to put myself in a straight jacket for the next three days. At least so I can't move my fucking back. I want to be stuck like this for fucking two and a half days. Just walking around like this. This is fucking cool. Um, I think that uh, the, an update on the channel and what kind of videos will be going out. I think I'm going to do. So the issue with recording videos other than the gym videos when I have work is the fact that I don't really have much time at night, especially if I work in the morning again, to record and then edit those videos, right? If I'm going six to four, then gym, then home, it's usually seven or eight when I get there because I'm, um, you know, six to four, get off at four, take my pre, get to the gym, warm up, do the lift, drive home. It's usually around six or seven, maybe even eight sometimes when I get home. And then I have to obviously make my food, take a shower, do whatever little chores around the house I have to do, and then I can actually start getting into the game. By then it's like, Nine ten o'clock, and if I wake up at six, I gotta go to sleep because I'm not about to, you know, je jeopardize my sleep and my my health just to, you know, record videos. Which uh, I, I know it's kind of uh, I, I don't want to say selfish, but definitely slightly backwards in terms of you know wanting to be successful on YouTube. But I think I'd rather be more successful in my health than on YouTube, just because there's so many things that could go wrong with my health that I cannot control. Whereas with YouTube, if something goes wrong and people stop subscribing or stop watching because I'm not uploading certain videos, then, you know, whatever, right? That's just, it's just their their taste, what they want to do. But uh, for me, like I said, I, I think I'm going to do only, uh, the only video that will be up the next day after a day that I work will be probably a gym video. If I don't work, I'm going to try and upload videos for the, or at least edit videos for the entire week and record them, obviously. If I don't have time, then that's obviously a different story. If I'm, you know, busy doing other things or I have other plans or whatever it is, which rarely ever happens, uh, then obviously there won't be uh, exactly the kind of um, what's called. Oh no, a crash! Oh, that's so sad. There won't be exactly the kind of videos that, that uh, you would expect for the entire week. But I think that's going to be the best for me and my health. So I hope you guys like don't hate me for it. I mean, I'm still going to be trying to upload. Well, I'm still going to be uploading every day. It just might not be gaming and reaction videos every other day, as I've been trying to do. Uh, but I think that's fine. I mean, I, I think you guys enjoy the channel the way it's set up right now. I don't really have a set uploading or recording schedule. I just kind of do it when I have the opportunity and availability, and that'll probably stay the same until I start making money off of YouTube, because I'm not going to make something a, a number one priority if I'm unable to get anything out of it. Like right now, yeah, I'm getting a outlet to just talk. I'm getting a way to just, you know, be myself in the gym and without a gym partner, right? I'm getting people to, you know, listen to me rant about whatever the fuck that I'm... Yesterday I was talking about pizza, I think. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that's... I, I'm, get, I'm still getting something out of the recording. So it's not like I'm not... It's not like I'm, it's not like I'm getting nothing, right? But at the same time, I do... 
I want to be able to say that I, I, want, I want, I need something tangible to be able to validate that I'm doing something, you know, for a good amount of time for a good reason, right? Making it a, like a number one, number two priority. So until then, it'll probably still just be everyday gym videos and then probably three videos a week other, outside of that, which I think that's a good, I think it's a good amount. I think there's, there's some YouTubers that don't even post, you know, we, the weekly, right? They put post, post like twice a month, which I don't understand how you can do that. I think that's just, that's crazy. I, I, I mean, it's usually the bigger people because they make so much off of one video, so it's easy for them to do that. But for me, there's no way I can do that and actually still continue to grow. Be, gr growth is all about consistency in any, a in whatever aspect you're thinking about growth, right? Whether that's growth in your body, growth in your mind, growth in something you're trying to achieve. It's about being consistent with how much work you put in and how much effort you give. Right? If you're giving it enough effort and you're putting in a good amount of work towards whatever it is that you're trying to get better at or you're trying to grow in, it's going to happen eventually. Right? It might take time, it might take a while, but it's going to happen. So don't give up on all these things that you want, man, because you don't know, like, like I said the other day, you don't know when you're going to succeed. You could, see, you, you could succeed tomorrow. So what the fuck do you look like failing today or letting yourself quit today? Why would you do that when you could, when tomorrow could be the day that you win? You never know. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're going through these things, man. But uh, yeah, let's get in there. Let's get some fucking pullover started. Okay. Well, first of all, I can. Okay, good. My God. Okay. Well, first of all, the difference between weekend and weekday is already apparent. I mean. It's not even close to the same amount of people. It's probably easily double and maybe even triple what it was this weekend. But our first, well, I guess first two because it's a super set. Um, I'm doing two sets of pullovers and single arm rows. Um, the pullovers are, well, they're both heavy, but the pullovers are heavier than I would normally go. Uh, just because it is the first movement of the day, so I want to um, use as much as I can while I'm fresh. So, yeah. I'm trying to use triceps, I don't want to do that. Thank you. 
All right, cool. All right, where's the pull-ups? It's been a while. Let's see if I still have any remote skill in doing pull-ups. I mean, that's fine. Let me see more. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna crash out. I'm not gonna crash out. Alright, one more pull up set, then we'll do our first set of burdels. Alright, reverse dumbbell flies first. Alright, dumbbell reverse flies. Bend over, go through the elbows. Two tests. I'll take it. Bro, I hate these beats, but I need some new ones. I broke them. Now they're not tied up. Keep sliding up my head. Pause. Oh, question of the day. Um, question of the day. Let's keep it basic. What's your favorite color? I don't even think I've asked that shit yet. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you the right question to start off with. I'm trying to dive right into it. What's your favorite color? Mine is yellow. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell by all the yellow stuff that I post. The fact that I'm a Steelers and a Lakers fan, and the fact that half the stuff in my house is yellow. But yeah, no my favorite color. Um, a lot of reasons. Bumblebee, the Steelers. I don't know. I know it's weird. Most people don't like yellow, but I love yellow, so. do our barbell work okay for our three of 12 we're gonna use 185 and then we're gonna do one set of 185 for overhand and one set of 135 so like I said the first three all the underhand ones are not gonna be so figured they're just gonna be three of 12 I uh, just because I do want to actually get good work and I don't want to focus too much on you know swinging and getting as many reps as I can I kind of want to just um, uh, uh, you get 12 good reps because I know I can do 12 and then I will go to play with over right now because that works a little more in your back. So. <laughs> I was tougher than I thought it was to be honest. But, what's okay. Alright, let's go. Why do I have Drake in my ear? Get him out. 
What have we found? Oh my god. What are you talking about, bro? Shout out Control. What's that? I remember I want to feel the grip so many times, but I knew this moment I come. Now it's my time. I gotta make it far. The next day my mama cried. Come on. Say strong, my girl. I know I can't be no fool. No, I can't slip. No, I can't fumble. Gotta stick and move. I just came on again. Do I just do it again? Is that oral? It might be. Nah, nah, nah. I will listen to the top though. Come on, that's all, that's all baby food. No, it's all right. Stop stalling, bro. Boom. Okay. Alright. Two sets of over hand. One with the same weight, one with 135. Both just brown sets. Alright, so my rest period for this one is gonna be while I take off the weights. So it's gonna be the 185. I'm gonna remove the weight, we back them correctly, come back in 135. Not like an actual rest period, but just like probably like 45, 50 seconds. If that. What's that? Come here. Ten and eight. Ha! Ah, Alright. Alright, this is this is insane. I'm I'm just doing shit at this point. Um, my ego is at an all-time high after the performance on those rows, so uh, we're hitting a PR and still on pull downs because honestly just because I fucking feel like it. If you have an issue then fuck out of here bro. Come on. Come on, sir. I ain't gonna lie, baby. It's that that motivation right here. <coughs> Come here.
Mm, okay, seven. I'll, leave, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. If I can do it here, I'm doing it though. Come here. Come on, bro. Let's go. My arm's shaking, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. I hope that's good. Fuck it. I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Eight counts? It counts, come on. <clears throat> come on, Ty. Come on. Control this next one, just really good squeeze. It's just gonna be the last set. No, last one. No, just happened. Bro, fuck it. We're done. Let's check it out. <laughs> Bro, there was just like six kids in here. I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but it couldn't have been good. There's no way. Dude, why is this so... Hold on. Hit the angles, right, Ty? Come on. This way? This way? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let me see. What? Okay, that should be good. Hold on. We locked the door. Oh, fuck. Cool. Big back season, bro. And I mean, big back is in fucking large, not fat. Shout out Makai, you're a fat ass. Oh my God, ow, my last are fucking sore, bro. Holy shit. I feel like the lighting is like, I don't know. Maybe I'll trip it.
Oh, oh my God, ow. Let's see. Oh, fuck. I don't know how that looked. I can't see it, but I mean, we'll, we'll see how it looks. What would you do if I walk around like this all day? All right, let's go to the car. We're done. Oh, cardio done. Back done. Dick done. Let's fucking go, bro. Feeling fantastic. Feeling smooth. Feeling like that dude. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll stop. I will stop. Maybe one day. One day I'll stop. One day I will not be as fucking stupid and annoying as you guys see me act every fucking day. But good lift, bro. Good fucking lift. I mean, the intensity was there. The rep count was there. I, I ended up doing another set of the single arm lap pull downs after I finished, showed you the two that I showed you. Uh, I dropped the weight to 45 and just did a, a tempo set. So it was just really slow control down, really slow control back up. And it was fucking amazing. Like it was, it was pretty sweet. So I'm definitely happy about it, man. I mean, there's, there's just little things that you can do every lift. Like you don't have to, you know, put it on, put on broadcast what you do every single time. Like I'm, I do stuff at the gym every single day that I don't show you guys, right? Like you don't have to talk about every single thing you do because not everything, every single thing you do is pretty and people want, people want to see it, right? Like there's, why do you think some NBA players get contracts that you don't think should get contracts? Patrick Beverly, Montrez Harrell's a good one. Uh, 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 even Gershon Gabusele, who just got a contract for the fucking Sixers. It's because they do the dirty work. Draymond Green got a $100 million contract because he does the dirty work. Is Draymond Green the most skilled player in the fucking league? Absolutely not. Is he even close? No. But he does the he does the dirty work that no one wants to do. He gets there, he gets in there and rebounds. He sets screens. He sets down screens. He fucking he does all the little things on offense and defense that no one wants to do. And that's why he gets rewarded for it. He gets contracts. So even if you might not be the most skilled, the most intelligent, the most flashy, the most, you know, all these things kind of person, just do work hard and do what, what no one else wants to do and you will succeed. In some capacity, you'll succeed. I promise you. I promise you, you will in some capacity. Whatever. It may not be exactly what you want. You may not be able to be exactly who you want to be, but you will become something that you may have desired at some point in time. Because you never know when you're going to be fucking successful until you get successful, like I said. But you should be pushing yourself every single day until and after that happens. There's no room for, you know, a little bit of success here, a little bit of success. No, no. You're going to hit it big if you keep pushing yourself. So don't stop, right? Don't make the mistake of allowing, you know, outside factors and outside opinions influence who you are and who you're going to be for the rest of your life. It, it's not worth it. Only the only influence that the, the, the only thing that should be able to influence you, your life, and your body is yourself. That's the only thing slash person that should be able to influence you. And it's as simple as that, man. It, it really is. There's no reason anyone or anything else should be able to influence any part of your life because it's your life. You're the one that people want to be. You're the one that people want to tear down or don't let them. Stay strong. Stay you. Stay beautiful. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Peace. Wait, I can't do it yet. I'm going to write about. Hold on. Hold on. Run about. Run about. Run about. Run about. Run about. Here we go. Peace.